Hey guys, in this video I'll be talking about 5 underrated cards which should deserve more attention. So if you want to get a great deal, if you want to buy a great car, then you should be watching this video. And by the way, if it's your first time here and you would like to learn more about cards, then you should consider subscribing. So let's hop right into the video. Subaru Impreza from 2009 I know that the Impreza WRX and the WRX STI are very popular in the United States and even in Europe, but what about the 2.0 naturally aspirated boxer engine with 150 horsepower? This car isn't about luxury, power, it's all about practicality and reliability. This Subaru engine has a simple construction and the transmission is what makes it worth every penny. The legendary symmetrical all-wheel drive system from Subaru is present in this tiny hatchback and guess what? You can buy one from 2009 with less than 100,000 kilometers at around 9,000 euros, which is really cheap in my opinion. This car is the perfect daily driver on any weather condition, snow, ice, mud, sand, rain, it's excellent while cornered and its acceleration isn't too bad either. 0 to 100 km per hour in around 9 seconds and this car is really really fast from 0 to 60 km per hour, like 2 seconds. So if you want an extremely reliable car with the best all-wheel drive system in the world, decent maintenance costs, decent features and decent performance, you should be buying this car. Number 4. Nissan 370Z Nissan is well known for Nismo edition cars and for the mighty GTR. I've seen lots of people talking about the Nissan 350Z but what about the 370Z? It has a 3.7 naturally aspirated V6 which develops 328 horsepower and 363 newton meters of torque. And also it's rear wheel drive so it's even more fun to drive. This Nissan isn't outdated at all. You can get one from 2013 in excellent condition, less than 80,000 kilometers on board and it costs just 17,000 euros. Seriously? It's a relatively new car, a lot of power, a reliable engine, rear-wheel drive, it has a low driving position and yet nobody talks about it. Number 3. The Audi TT 3.2 VR6 Quattro This little Audi is the R8 smaller brother. For those who don't know, the VR6 is an excellent piece of machinery. It's a unique combination between inline and V-shaped engines and the sound is also unique. The 3.2 naturally aspirated inline 6 with a V-angle of 15 degrees, yeah you heard me right, an inline engine with a V-angle of 15 degrees, develops 250 horsepower and 330 Nm of torque which launches the TT from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.8 seconds. Quattro all-wheel drive as standard for the 3.2 VR6 TT and you can get with a dual clutch automatic or a manual transmission. And yeah, you guessed, I would probably go for the manual. This Audi TT is just 1.2 seconds away Away from the original Audi R8 with a V8 engine and it costs 4 times less than the 2008 Audi R8. This Audi costs in Europe anywhere from 13 to 17,000 Europe and it's in excellent condition, less than 100,000 kilometers or 62,000 miles on board and it was manufactured from 2006 to 2010. However, if you want the VR6 engine and you don't like the TT, you can get the Audi A3. Overall great value for money, in my opinion. Number 2. BMW 523i now, this BMW model is popular amongst the used cars nowadays, but the popular engines are the 520D, the 525D, the 530D and probably the 535i. I haven't seen so many 523i because people are foolish. They're running away of what's best. This engine is bulletproof and I mean it. The 523i features a 3 liter naturally aspirated inline 6 which has just 204 horsepower and 270 Nm of torque from 1500 to 4700 rpm. This engine is underrated, few people know about it, few people know about its potential and guess what, it's really cheap compared to the other engine versions. For instance, this model with less than 50,000 km is anywhere around 18,000 euros. But keep in mind this. This model was 50k brand new and it's just a previous generation from 2011. I had a chance to see one in the car service that I work. It had 230,000 km on board and not a single drop of oil on the engine. It sounded so great and what's mind boggling about this car, the average fuel consumption. Just 7 liters per 100 km and the car weighs 1500 kg and it has a 3 liter engine. No offense but... That's the average fuel consumption of my Audi A3 with a tiny 1.6 gasoline engine. So again, this car with this engine, it's simply bulletproof. And finally, number one, 
The Suzuki Kizashi. I don't understand why nobody bought this car. It has a 2.4 inline 4 naturally aspirated gasoline engine with 178 horsepower and 230 Nm meters of torque. It sounds well, it drives well, it has tons of features including seats with memory, sunroof, 18 inch alloy wheels as standard, xenon headlamps and its silhouette is gorgeous in my opinion. Keep in mind that Suzuki doesn't produce luxurious cars, in fact it has cheap materials and everything is all plastic. Trust me, I worked for 3 months at Suzuki last year in 2016, but this, the Kizashi, it's an excellent car which I would personally buy at any time. I doubt anyone will have any trouble with this engine, it's 100% made in Japan, you can get it with a manual transmission and front wheel drive which sucks, or you can get it with an all wheel drive and an automatic CVT. The price for the Kizashi on the second hand market varies from 9000 to 16000 euros in Europe. And this ends my list. In case you noticed, all the cars mentioned here have naturally aspirated gasoline engines and I will buy one of them pretty soon hopefully next year. I'm sorry for Audi, Volkswagen, BMW and any other German brand, I'm shifting to Japanese cars. If I would ever buy a German car again, it will be an Audi S model or a BMW M model. I wouldn't mind owning an M3 or an RS5, but for the moment I can't afford any of those, so I think I will stick to Japanese cars. They're far more reliable, especially in the middle segment for average consumers like you and me. So I hope you enjoyed this video, if you have any car to mention, don't hesitate to write in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already for more car videos and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.